foam filled mask for use as a prop head. It's a prop. Here you have a finished product. This is a mask that was a mask that you wear on your head. Now you can't wear it on your head. Now it is a prop head. It is a foam filled prop. Uh, this is a foam filled prop. So that, that's what I wanted this for. A, you could carry it around if you wanted to. I would do some painting and some additional effects here. Or you could uh, make a dummy. Let's pretend that I had this part of the mannequin. Very common to get this chest torso mannequin, but I didn't have a head. Let's pretend I didn't have a head for this. Well, look, now I have a head for this. This is the finished product. It's not painted. This isn't a how to paint tutorial. This is a foam filling a mask for use as a prop head or just for display purposes. A lot of people don't want to put styrofoam inside their heads or whatever. They want to uh, just display the mask uh, in a filled state. It does help preserve it. It's not going to get mushed. We are turning this mask. This is, uh, I think this was called Wacko Jacko. Um, but this is, this is an older mask. It was given to me by a friend. Um, and I'm going to turn it into a prop head. I have several videos on re already on how to fill a mask with foam. But this is another new way. And it never hurts to have extra tools in your toolbox. What I'm going to use this time is Loctite foam. Maybe you saw me do this on a live stream, but I've never done it on a YouTube Wednesday. Um, so now is the time. Loctite foam is really amazing. It's an amazing material. It is not great stuff. It is a different animal completely. It's way more dense. Uh, it skins way faster. And it's quasi-moldable shapeable. Um, kind of like sculpting with marshmallows. But uh, for a certain time, then it gets really hard. Uh, mostly hard. So I have my mask. have my mask. I have a spray water bottle. I'm going to mist. Make sure it's a mist. You don't want to stream. You want to mist. I'm misting inside of this mask. I do have holes here small holes in the nose and small holes in the eyes. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a big deal, so I didn't bother taping it up. If you have one that already has eyes cut, just put masking tape over the eyes. I have sprayed this about, I don't know, one-fifth, one-sixth of the way. Hit it with some water. Right on top of that foam. And now I have a bucket right here. Half a bucket. Five gallon bucket. And I'm going to put the mask in there. But I want it to sort of hold that shape. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Uh, I could be braver. You know what? I, I will. I'll add a little more. I am going around the outside of the mask. I'm not really trying to fill the middle. Plenty of water. Water is what makes it activate faster and makes it form a nice skin so it's shapeable. Alexa, countdown, five minutes. Here is the head after, it's been a few minutes, all right? And what has happened is there's a skin on this now. It's not firm. It's like marshmallow, but it's like marshmallows with a skin on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to push this up against the walls. I don't want to break that skin, 
or else I get sticky foam gunk all over my hand. And I don't want sticky foam gunk all over my hand. I just want to kind of push that around a little bit in there. And this is very hard to film. Film. Hard to film. Uh, and this is not going to cover the whole mask, but I want to just get this, you know, a little more spread out, a little more controlled. I would love it if I can get this foam that already has a skin up behind the eyes. That would be great because then uh, wet foam won't come pouring out of the eyes. Okay, and I did break the skin and got a little bit on my thumb, but it's not that insidious. All right, so that's what we have now. It's a little more bold and dished out, see that? And I'm gonna put it back in here. More water. Water is foam's friend. Here's my can. Now, how long before it skins up and gets ready? It's five, five to 10 minutes or so. But check it at five. It depends on your humidity in the air, your temperature, all those factors. I'm not too worried about it collapsing right now because I know we'll fix that in the future. If anything, I'm going to have to fight it puffing up, which is a common problem when you are foaming a mask. Let's get a little more water in here. And you can see, hopefully, it still has that hollow but I took the foam all the way up to this edge inside. Uh, here it fell down a little bit, but it was all the way up to there. Uh, and I'm going to push it back up once it solidifies. So I have to give it about 10 minutes. Alexa, countdown, six minutes. <laughs> Spend the allotted amount of time, and you can see how much I have filled up. Remember how hollowed out the middle of that was? Well, now it isn't. What I need to do now is flip over to the face and make sure that I'm not getting bloated out or distorted. So I'm gonna do a little bit of pushing, a little bit of moving around, like even the stuff that's coming out of the eyes, I can just push that back in right now because it has that nice skin on it. And we'll see how filled in it became now is when I have to worry about it and I have to just watch it. I don't want to walk away right now. I have to babysit this a little bit. This whole process shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes or so, but if you walk away and you start doing something else, you could come back and it will no longer be marshmallow squishy. It'll be firm and hard and maybe it didn't go everywhere you needed it to go. And right now, let's control that. Let's monitor it. Uh, this right here, see, that still is folded in. I don't want that folded in. I'm going to peel that out and make sure that it stays where I want it. It's fighting me. Now, I think that's because how the mask was folded uh, when it was hanging on a peg. So if I just hold it like this or put weight on it like this, that straightens this out nicely. And I like what it does to that front jaw. I just have to monitor it for a little while. What was in here is already really hard. All of this is still nice and soft and pliable should I need it to be. And instead of putting it back in the bucket, I'm going to hang it by this for about five minutes. Alexa, countdown, five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Pause. No. But it will be. This should be more firm. I do have a pleasant roundness. Uh, not just me, also on the mask. Um, 
does want to grab onto that wire. Okay. Uh, hanging it straightened out my issue there. See how nice and straight both these sides are? That's lovely. The face is a little more full than I would like. Now is the time to correct it. Now I can push in and, and give him push along that nasal labial fold. I can push in under the cheeks a little bit here. I can uh, do something that hasn't been done in a while. I can squeeze and give Michael Jackson a nose. There we go. I'm going to push in those eyes. I want those eyes to be a little more sunken. But that is, that's a product of this mask because they want to look like a crazed Michael Jackson. Now, why am I filling this head with foam? I might make a prop severed head with it, in which case I would add a little bit of a neck and I would add some gore onto this. Or maybe I want to put this on a mannequin body and I'm looking at it and I'm squeezing in a little bit on the temples. I'm thinking about a skull. Where on a skull would be depressed a little bit? You can even look at a skull. And I'm just constantly monitoring. For the next five, ten minutes, this is all I'm going to do is fidget with this guy while this firms up. If I am worried about it pushing out and distorting too much, that's because of pressure that's being built up inside as it expands. So I can relieve the pressure by poking a few holes to let air out. Foam is bubbles, so that's filled with, I would like to say air, but in this case it's chemicals. It's off-gassing, and the gas makes these bubbles, which is just as healthy for you as you would think. And that should be not healthy for you is what you should think. I'm just kind of stabbing this in until I get down in that middle. And now when I squeeze, that air has a place to go. Air. There's a little bit of fumes in the off-gassing. Not much. But if uh, any kind of fumes bother you, just do this outside. And I'm going to look at this every minute and just look and make sure it's doing what I want. I'm watching. I'm pretty happy. I have uh, a nasal labial fold. I feel that in there. Um, I'm going to look at this like every five minutes now and just make sure it's not swelling up anymore. And if it does, I want to give it a place to go on the inside so it doesn't distort my mask on the outside. I'm going to use a cutter and cut out some of that middle. Okay, now I know it's got a place to go. I'm happy with that. Um, but I now have a, a good... Um, filled head. That is it for this video. You may see this again being turned into other forms. Say goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Go make stuff. make stuff. Didn't, I, I missed the button.